Quick recap, confidence versus self-confidence. Remember, confidence comes from the outside based off of something that you have done before. Self-confidence comes from a different place. It comes from the your inside. It comes from the, you having full confidence in yourself despite any outside evidence that is possible. Despite the fact that you've never done it before, it does not matter. It's an internal feeling. The job of your brain, remember, is to keep you safe and to automate things. That's why it's trying to get you off track. That's why it's trying to get you to not step up. That's why it's trying to get you to minimize yourself, to talk about all the things that people are better at than you and all of these kind of things. All of these lies we literally tell ourselves so that we don't get ourselves to take action, right? That's the job of the brain. And when you realize that, you can make a different decision, right? Because fear doesn't prevent it. Fear doesn't prevent you from going out there and trying new things. The unwillingness to feel it does. And when you realize like, oh, I can feel the fear and do it anyway, because that's what every other human does on the planet, it gives you this feeling of like, okay, so I'm just like everybody else out there. So maybe my thoughts of like me being else, like on an entirely different planet and being completely different than people is really not true. It's the fact that I just need to feel the fear and I need to take action on it, all right? And how we do that is we find a new story to focus on and we will be willing to feel the fear and do it anyway. So you focus on that story if you're like, hey, I, I, like I'm literally put here to help people on, in the world and I need to feel the fear and do it anyway. That's actually proof, guys, that you really are serious about leading. Is like you feel the fear and you do it anyway because you know the impact that it's gonna make on the other people that are, that are actually hearing you or the other people that you're actually leading or the other people that are seeing you do those things, right? When you think about that and the impact that it makes, it will get you to overcome that if you're in the moment and it will get you to take massive action. All right, guys, here it is at the, at the top. You don't get better by consuming. You get better by acting. I really hope that you guys lean into not only what I taught you here, but you go out there and you take consistent action. Now, if you're somebody who you really enjoy my message, you really like my level of energy, you really like what I have to say when it comes to leadership and coaching, hit up my YouTube channel. I'm at Modern Leadership. I actually put together a little bit of a workshop series for people who are wanting to create massive goals, who want to create and make a massive impact in the world, but they don't know how to do it without burning themselves out, running out of time, or putting their family on the back burner. So at the bottom of this page, it says the leadership blueprint. You go to mindsetwithmark.com forward slash leadership. I put together a four-part, super easy workshop that's completely free for you guys. For those of you guys who really resonate with this message and you want to create massive success on your terms and you define what that success looks like. So Aaron, there you go. Um, ending it out here. I know we're a few minutes early, but I'd love to answer some questions for people as they have them uh, coming in.